Welcome inside the Staples Center in Los Angeles, California, the Senators and the Los Angeles Kings. And let's quickly get to our keys to the game, brought to you by Tim Hortons, Canada's favorite coffee. Well, for the Ottawa Senators, I think it's play, pretty plain and simple. A couple of things they want to do. The Kings have not been good five-on-five, five, so Ottawa wants to focus on staying five-on-five. Five. How do you do that? Stay out of the penalty box. And d discipline is very, very important. For the LA Kings, they had a very tough outing in the loss in the home opener to the Rangers. They did not play well. We know Daryl Sutter. They're going to be motivated to come out and play mad. Play mad hockey, use their body size, and out hit the Ottawa Senators and see if they can crack the Senator armor. Well, individually, Craig Anderson has some old armor to crack as well. Lifetime. He has only ever won one game here in the 11 he has played. You can see that quick record there. 1 6 and 3 lifetime, though, with a 867 goals, a save percentage, rather, as we get set to kick things off here. And Richards and Turris off the draw. Kings control. Here's Slavovoin off the center. Goes wide side. And Carcillo, the former Chicago Blackhawk, can't get in clean. It's dumped in along the boards. Here's MacArthur, knocks it down, trying to get it to Jared Cowan. Carcillo comes in, tipped away from him. Conacher. Willie Mitchell comes down the board to try and control him. In the corner, Carcillo. Tanking around Wilcox. Conacher tries to poke it to an open spot. Tourist tries to clear it out. Can't get it out. Low shot. Misses. Here's Conacher. Bangs it off the boards. Back outside the line. Up to jump back in the Ottawa zone. Kings will change. Conacher carries it to center. Through to Tourist. Tourist inside the line. Drops it. MacArthur. Wines. Fires. That goes off the stick low and wide. And coming over, it is covered up and held on to by Jonathan Quick. Lots to talk about in Los Angeles about Jonathan Quick. And as a matter of fact, because of the media today, lots to talk about in the continent. Had a really tough goal scored on him. But it was not the game-winning goal. In, in Jonathan Quick's defense, it was not a it was a 3-1 loss. It wasn't a 3-2 loss. So the LA Kings did not play well in front of him. And uh, each player mentioned it. Long drifting shot, knocked down on the way to the net, puck back to the boards again. The spot there to hold it in. Denny, the thing that surprised me was that this guy got booed by his home fans. You know, this guy won you a stand a couple, a couple of years ago. And it was, anyway, one of those weird, wacky things that just kind of happens every now and then. Craig Anderson made note of the fact that he let one in once in center ice. You know? Sometimes it happens. Back to the net to Costa. He finds the thought, the thought. Through the middle, tried to hit Carlson, they couldn't connect. That allows the Kings to hold it in. Here's Kopitar. And along the boards, Brown tried to send it back to the point. On the other side, that pass to the point, out of Matt Green's reach. And back to pick it up in his own end. Here's Alec Martinez. Back across in Green now. Down to the Ottawa line and in. Corbo knocks it down, but he has contact right on him right away. Jack Smith wins the puck, clears it, but again. Can't get it back up high enough for Phillips to get it out. Kings grinding in front of the Ottawa goal. Finally, Corvo finds it. Carries it ahead, trying to get away from Clifford. He is dumped. Phillips comes in. Slaps it along the boards. It goes off the glass and out of play. And the faceoff will come, I believe, outside the Ottawa line. This is a long shot. They estimate about 180 feet. That's McDonough. Rangers Here's Rangers. what happened. Now, the key to that play is that Quick loses his stick. And it was thought that maybe, you know, when they taped the stick at the end of the knob of the hockey stick, that kind of slipped through his hands. And once the stick left his hand, he lost control, tried to make the play with the locker. But believe me, as a teammate, there are goals where you say, oh, come on, you should have had that. Not one player felt that way on the Los Angeles Kings when that goal went in on Jonathan Quick. They felt more for him than anything else. Stole to the corner, back to the point. Regeer fires it around the boards on the other side. Knocked down there. King drops it off on the reverse. Nolan comes out. His shot off a leg. Anderson out of the net. Tries to clear it back to the corner. Now Weirkosh again in a battle with Big Dwight King. 6-4, 2-3. He was not thought to be playing tonight. It was expected that we were going to see Frazier, but Frazier taken out. And King back in after... Paul McLean decided to dress Matt Cassian, so you both have both teams with their heavyweights in the lineup. Pajot floats one wider than that. Up the boards, Mathot holds it in, but only momentarily now. 
is held in. Nifty move. Conacher trying to slide his man. It couldn't get by Richards. Back the other way. Richards out the center. Goes to the wing. Carcillo. Of course, it takes a long route around by Mafat. Turris sends it around the boards on the other side. Again, Mitchell pinches. But finally comes back outside the line. Boynoff lobs it back in. Here's Eric Carlson now. Gets it ahead. Turris through the middle. Here's Mafat. Comes the puck to the corner. Turris gets in there first on Willie Mitchell. Now Voynov. MacArthur's in on him. And that speedy forecheck that worked so well for the Rangers on Monday night, the Senators now appear to be trying to duplicate. Carlson quickly ahead. Turris gets his shot away quick. Outside the blue paint makes the save. And leaves it there for Kopitar. Easy Kopitar's led the Kings in scoring. Six straight years. The team record is Marcel Dion, who led the team in scoring for eight straight years. One is 6-4, the other was 5-8. Maybe 5-8. Not, <laughs> not that that means anything. <laughs> the cost in front, Ryan back in front, trying to find McCulloch for the tip. There's a shot from the wall by Phillips, knocked down. Kings now, want to break it out. Here comes Brown, down the wing. Got Williams with him. Brown cuts in his shot, low and wide. Off the boards, Kopitar with it. Going to get a penalty call here, and it's going to come behind the play, and I believe it's going to go against Ottawa. Now they, the call interference is the call, as I think we had a little pick in behind the play. Well, it's going to be against Brown, I believe. Yeah, Brown is going to go to the penalty box, and I think that, you know, he willingly will go. Watch this play. First of all, this was a really nice attempt at getting a redirection. But right now in L.A., I would certainly like to see Bobby Ryan shoot. You saw the penalty at the bottom of your screen. Brown, Justin Brown, the, the captain of the L.A. Kings, got caught in the pitch. He had nowhere to go. He ran into uh, Anderson, and I think what happens is that the referee also had no choice. Dave Jackson had to call him on the interference. Very light contact. And yeah. I suppose in that one, the part of the rule they had to use there is that he didn't make enough of an attempt to not make contact, but really not much more than just a light bump, nonetheless. Yeah, Dustin Brown didn't have any... Uh, any issues with him. Sounders on the power play so far this season. 0 for 5. McCarthy with a shot. Quick with a save. And the puck cleared back down east. Nice setup by this line. that has a lot of good communication when they play 5 on 5. Now with a man advantage. Could be even better. Sanders, no power play goal yet this year. Pass to the corner. Breaks on. Loses the puck. Now the Kings try to clear it, and they do off the boards and back down ice by Mitchell. Conacher is a guy that probably, I wouldn't say the easiest job, maybe has the toughest. But on this line, particularly on the power play, his responsibility, go to the front of the net with much bigger men to fight against. Down the boards. Turris back to the point. Here's Weirkot. Back to Turris. Moves in, his shot. Save is made. Loose puck. Williams picks it up as that went off the paddle part. Of Jonathan Quick stick back to the point. Rear cut. Back to the high slot. Carlson let the puck go. Turris pokes it along the boards on the other side. MacArthur. Back to the point. Rear cut. Offside side of the net. One extra pass by Turris. One too many as he couldn't get it to Conacher. Rear cut. Gets it across. Carlson to the corner. MacArthur. His shot went high, missed high. And that one went off the glass and up into the mesh to face off will be inside the L.A. zone. Well, I've never been a coach, and I don't want to be, but I will tell you what a coach is going to say to this team. First, it was Bobby Ryan, shoot the puck. And then it was Torres. He would say, shoot the puck. And MacArthur shot the puck, had the open net, I think, above Jonathan Quick. He had some room, but he missed it high. And you saw Mark MacArthur then look to the heavens. You don't get that many opportunities. Miss them and have it be a good thing. Senators have outplayed the Kings so far in this period. On the power play, a couple of good opportunities. They just let him slide by because they didn't shoot. Phillips does his shot, misses wide. Corville gets there to hold it in, but just barely. Bouncing puck. Gets it back to Zach Smith. Neal gets back on side. 28 seconds to go in the Ottawa power play. The LA Kings so far this season in the two games they've played have given up two power play goals. Corville with a shot right on. And Quick makes the save, and Chris Neal goes in to introduce himself. You know, you'll watch how the Los Angeles Kings, I, I have to say it, they're playing a little bit lazy hockey. 
here they are where you have to work twice as hard when you're down a man. Look at all four men are down almost on the goal line, and that leaves Corvo plenty of room to get a full slap shot away before Carter comes even close. Off the draw, a scramble draw. Now snapped off the boards and back down ice by Jared Stoll. He thought back of his own net, leaving it there. It's Trevor Lewis took the flyby. Now here's Ryan. Ryan fires three shots for Ottawa on that power play as it brings back out out of the box. Racing to get it. Here's Brown. Cutting in. Scores! Call Justin Brown had bumped into Anderson, was in the penalty box, and then when things turned around, you'll see how the puck leaps around the boards. Out comes Justin Brown. This is a very tough angle to beat a goaltender like Anderson, but the shot was so precise, and there you see it looked like under the blocker. What do we say? Shoot the puck even if you're at a tough angle. Well, the auto Senators have missed several opportunities to shoot the puck. Justin Brown did not. So Brown gets his first point of the year. And the Kings have the early 1-0 lead. Here's Williams turning inside his own line. Heads it across and Martinez now. Gets to center. Rings it hard around the boards. Williams first in on it, and Cowan goes after him, and now everyone is waiting for Waldo. Can't find the puck. Well, they'll find the puck when we come back. one nothing. Brown with the only goal of this game. Tickets for the first half of this season are on sale now, and that includes the home opener on October 17th. Parking for that game is free. Compliments of Canadian Tire. For more information, visit capitaltickets.ca. Well, Dustin Brown, the goal scorer on the very first shot of the game by the Los Angeles Kings. And I will point out that Paul McLean has got to be fuming a little bit. Two missed shots opportunities and a shot that missed the net set up this goal by Dustin Brown coming out of the penalty box. First line player, obviously, is Dustin Brown. You don't often see players that play in the top six of a team as good as the LA Kings, who are also top ten in the league in hits, as he was last year. Pro Hockey Life, the ultimate hockey mega score. Now this is a young guy who is uh, trying to get out of losing faceoffs. Only 28% efficiency coming into the game, and Jean Gabriel Pajot has got a tall task against these LA Kings. Puck is to the corner by Green, in to get it. Nolan back of the net. Here's Nolan trying to work the puck back out front. Corvo spins, trying to turn him over. Can't do it. Back to the point. Green with a shot. And slides underneath the glove of Anderson and Pajot now looking for a way up, but he spun around. Gives up the puck. King, late man in front. Slides the puck through, but unable to get a shot through. Was stolen. Now it's knocked down. Here's Condra on a break. Splits to the fence, trying to cut back. And he is caught. As Alec Martinez gets back and catches up the Condra, takes away his chance. Martinez playing in his first game of the year right now, having been a healthy scratch the first two nights. The team played so poorly defensively against the New York Rangers. Daryl Sutter put him into the play, and he certainly made a good play on Condra there defensively. Here's Carlson now. Goes to the wing, and Mathot gets to center. Fires it in on quick, who nearly deflected it back into his own map. Bobby Ryan along the boards. Back in front. McCulloch stops the puck, and that hesitation. Allowed Trevor Lewis to get a stick on him, break up that shot attempt. DaCosta in the corner. He spun around. Back along the boards. Bobby Ryan slides it through. As McCulloch flips the puck back to the corner for DaCosta. Ryan along the boards trying to win it back. Knocked down. Here's Ryan to chase it. Getting there first, though. Slavoj Voinov runs it around the other side, and the Kings get it back to center. 
Cross cornered into the zone. Back in behind the net. Clifford pressed hard against the boards by Mark Mafott. Carlson knocks the puck ahead, slipped high in the air, back out to center. Here's Drew Dowdy to get it. Dowdy back at his own line. Torres on him. Ahead to Richards. Richards tries to go through the middle. It's knocked down. But pops over top of the stick of Torres right in front of the Kings line. Carter just floats it all the way back down ice. In the corner, Carcillo and Carlson bump. Carlson kicks the puck ahead and out to center. Here's Conacher. Slips it across. Torres to the wing. The trailer. Weirkos winds. Fires across. And the pass too hot to handle for Conacher. Then he is decked in the corner by Carcillo. Another... Not the position where the Senators are guilty of not taking that shot. There was no reason for Weirkos not to shoot the puck. Had plenty of people on the doorstep for any eventual rebound. As it turned out, missed pass, totally missed opportunity. Outside the call, faceoff will come back outside the Kings line. Watch on the left side of your screen or bottom. There's Weirkos coming in. This is so juicy I can taste it. Shoot the puck. Again, we have counted three times already in this period. The Ottawa Senators' ideal shooting positions, they elect to try to make the pass, and all three times resulted in no shot on goal. Smith to the line, Neil Wines fires and misses just low. Zach Smith is all bound up by Green, and both he and Green went into the goaltender. As Colin Green in, flips the puck in the air, but not out. Jared Cowan now. Turned around in the corner. Cowan back along the boards. Gets it ahead. Zach Smith slides it across ice. Zach Smith and Brown get tangled up with each other. Right at the Ottawa bench. And I believe Ruffinthal is on the way against Zach Smith. Kings go to the power play because of this. When we return to Los Angeles already, the LA Kings sporting a 1-0 lead. This period brought to you by Toyota. The 2013s must go to make room for the 2014s. On now at your Toyota dealer. The road to the World Series is heating up. MLB playoffs continue right here on Sportsnet. It's Oakland and Detroit. The fifth and final deciding game is tomorrow at 8 Eastern on Sportsnet 1. All right, thank you, Sean. Off the face out, Mafat clears it all the way back down ice with Smith off the box. Two minutes for roughing. They tangle up with Brown and they disagree. As feisty and physical a game as this LA Kings team plays, they do not take very many penalties. Last year they averaged just 10 minutes in penalty time per game, which is sixth best in the league. Xander takes a stab at a puck and misses it. Williams now. Sends a shot in back in front. So that one goes off the post. Kopitar had a wide open top corner and chimed it off the iron. Similar play that the Ottawa Senators used on their power play. They leave a guy high in the slot and they work the puck to him for the quick shot. Kopitar hit the post. Had the net wide open. Kings 0 for 2 on the power play in their game Monday against the Rangers. But 3 for 10 in their first games of the year so far this season. They've got some shooters. You keep an eye on 77, Carter. He's got one of those power play goals. Over last year, eight power play goals in the shortened season. Here's Muckers McCulloch in the corner. Carter gets on him, but Muck is stolen away. And then cleared back down ice by Jared Cowan. Paul McLean puts his twin towers out there in the penalty kill. And here's Caution Cowan. He's got him with a shot. Save is made by Anderson. A sliding play to get it back to the line, and then the puck is cleared up into the Ottawa bench. I think it would have been outside the line anyway. So the faceoff comes back outside the zone. Now 29 seconds remaining in the penalty to Zach Smith. Justin Williams says if Kopitar played in the East, he'd be compared to Crosby and Ovechkin. Right in the middle of your screen. Look at that pass by Brown. That's unselfish. Kopitar gets the puck in the high slot, and that quick wrist shot that Dean was talking about Right out the goal post. He had plenty of room. Senators were fortunate. Another penalty call is on the way here. This time against Pajot as Williams gets the Pajot stick in his legs. He goes down. So a very brief five on three now for the LA Kings. 
Well, I'd like to say maybe that discipline is in oh, order, except that this is more of an unfortunate situation for a young man, Pajot, who is really you know, understanding that he needs to bring more to the game for his team. Uh, playing the fourth line center was so good last year in the playoffs, but he did say to me this morning, he said, you know what, I almost find it easier playing the playoffs because you're playing the same team over and over again. You get to know tendencies. Regular season videos They'll tell you everything. Canada with a face-off win. Richard Sishat looking for the tip. Back to Dowdy. Across the box. Anderson the save on the Kopitar shot. Richards walks into it. Dowdy, his shot. Knocked down by Mafat. Another shot. Misses low. Puck is loose down low. Green tries to clear it. Lost the puck. Carter. Open net. And he buries it. And Colin Green can't believe he had the puck on his stick and a chance to clear it. And he lost. Well, they love it happening here in Los Angeles. A lot different looking tonight than it was on Monday night when they lost to the New York Rangers, and partly due to the fact that the Ottawa Senators have allowed situations to go by them and have been unfortunate. You could say an unfortunate penalty to Pajot created a five-on-three, and nothing more unfortunate than this. Colin Greening did have control of the puck in the shorthanded situation. Typically, that puck is out of danger, and there is no issue. But as it turns out, on the sixth shot, the second goal by the King. And you could see Paul McLean urging his young players to just settle down. Yeah. That's what it looks like, doesn't it? Here's the thought now as we get back to five on five. In every sport, you know, they kind of say, let the game come to you. Let the game come to you. Senators have certainly been forcing the game almost everywhere on the ice to this point. Up the wing, here's Ryan. Slides the puck in. He's taken down from behind by Clipper. Dowdy now. Turns in behind his own net. Peters it off. Carlson steals it. Up the back. To the corner. Pollock and Ryan playing the both playing the same side. Run it back in the net. DaCosta goes to chase it. Dowdy on him. DaCosta in front. McCulloch fans on the shot. Carlson doesn't. His is knocked down. McCulloch reaches for it. Loses it. Can't get a shot away. And finally, the Kings just carry it back to center. Up the wing. Matt Pratt the former Leaf. Drives it in. Anderson makes the save. And he will hold on with a 2-0 Kings lead. Well, Craig Anderson did get a lot of help, certainly in the five on three, but he had to bid down on the ice and had sort of lost, you know, a sense of where the puck was when finally the shot beat him. But Andy, I know the first thing he's going to say is, I should have had that first one, the one by Dustin Brown that opened up the game on the very first shot. Off the face off, Corvo runs it around the boards. Here's Conacher with it now. Conacher. Shovels it cross ice down to the King's End. Boy not turns to chase it. Terris gets in there but can't steal the puck back. Back the other way. Goal off the boards. Can't get it out. Second chance. He does get it out. Here's Corvo now with King. Trying to get on him. Corvo. Sends the puck ahead. Turris goes through the middle. Trying to get it to McCarthy. And Boynot banks it off the boards. Nolan at center. Tries to dump it to the Ottawa line. Phillips stands him up. McCarthy through the middle. Gets it to Conacher. Conacher inside the zone. Has no play, so he just dumps it to the corner. Zach Smith comes in and jars the puck free. And to make that McCarthy and not the center. Now. Richards back in it to the line. This will be an offside call, though, as Carter was already in the zone. Now Carcillo has to get out. Cowan goes to the wing. Knocked away from Colin Greening. Greening. Lifts the puck back. Chris Neal went cross ice. And knocked down Richards right in front of the Kings bench. Along the board, Zach Smith comes in, puts a solid check into Carcillo. Back the other way, Carter. One goal in this game, three already in the season. Back to play. Anderson makes the save and holds on. Coming in the backside with a great chance was Anze Kopitar, but Anderson, he makes the save. 2-0 Kings lead here in period one. This period brought to you by Toyota. 
The 2013s must go to make room for the 2014s. On now at your Toyota dealer. It's the search for Canada's next sportscaster. Gillette drafted on Sportsnet 360, Fridays at 10 p.m. Eastern Time. Aspiring broadcasters compete for a one-year contract at Sportsnet and a one-year contract to be a Gillette spokesperson. They shot to the left of Anderson. Out the John Williams trying to force his way to the front of the Ottawa goal. Doesn't work. Here's Kopitar now. Gordini leaves the puck in the corner. Kopitar trying to work himself away from Zach Smith. Smith flips it off his stick out the center. Chris Neal pops it down to the Kings line. Quickly it's cleared off the board back to center. Alec Martinez didn't want to hold on to it too long. He's run into the boards by Neal. Zach Smith delays and that gives Kopitar a chance to get on him, steal the puck and clear it up the center for Brown. Here's Brown. Phil Corvo falls, still Brown gets a shot away. Phillips now gets the puck ahead. Brown takes a run at him. As I pass, a penalty call is on the way here. And I believe it's going to go to Chris Neal. For interference as he took on and tied up Brown right at the Ottawa bench. Brown is driving him crazy. Well, you know, you've got to do your homework. I mean, Dean mentioned it before. This team doesn't take a lot of penalties, even though they hit. But Dustin Brown is absolutely the king of kings in that department. Left side of your screen. Watch how Dustin Brown comes in. One hit. He'll come in again. One more hit. Comes in on Neal. Neal is taken off the ice for interference. Now, what happens is Dustin Brown gets a lot of hits almost in the lead lead every year but last year he had 22 minutes of penalties in 48 games not much the last 82 game season he had before the lockout had 53 minutes of penalties not a lot for a guy who often leads the league in hits to the corner king so far tonight one for two on the power play with four shots the last power play goal they scored was a five on four. The five on three had just expired and Carter scored the goal. He's been able to get in cleanly. And one whistle down on the offside call is Dowdy. Didn't hear a whistle, so as you should, just kept going. Now they sort of went down on one knee to Dowdy. He wonder if he was trying to get a call or actually lost his balance, but how awful would that have been had the Senators gone down to another five on three situation, or should I say? Three on five. Face-off win by Stahl. Now to the the line again, throws it wide. Williams. Back to the point, it hops over the stick of Willie Mitchell, and up the Kings have to come. Here's Williams again. On the boards. Short season last year, Williams had but one power play goal. Believe it or not, Andrew Kopitar didn't have any. There's another five on three on the way because uh, Torres is going to get called for the hook here. There's a shot to flex off Anderson. Kings get the goalie out. There's a shot from Williams, knocked down, and here comes the five on three goal. This one will be a tad longer than the last one. This will be a 50 second five on three as the Senators, for the second time in this period, cough up five-on-three power play to the Kings. You know, interestingly enough, I mean, it was Kyle Turris I was speaking to this morning when I was trying to figure out what would be the key to this hockey game, and Kyle and I agreed it's going to be that discipline, and that has really gone out the window in the first period, giving up two five-on-threes. One of them cost them a goal. On one penalty to number seven, Kyle Turris. Two minutes for hooking. Richards low to the corner, gets it back. Lines doesn't fire. Dowdy back to Richards. Dowdy does. His shot misses. Around the boards. Richards can't get there to hold it in. Boy, I want to see Condor do a better job of protecting his head. He almost put his head in the way of the Dowdy shot. A convinced Dowdy did not get all of it because he saw the danger. Dowdy in from the point. And Richards change spots so both can get on their forehand. Through the box, Carter heals his shot, tipped to the wall by Mathot. Dowdy off the boards, Condra on him. Wheels it back, Carter goes wide side. Richard 
Low to the corner. Center wing pass. Deflected by Brown. Neal is out. It's a five on four. Carter in front. Scores! The tap in for Brown. His second of the period. Carol Sutter was asked, what do we need to do, uh, meaning the Los Angeles Kings, to get some better play? Well, he said, I think we're trying, but our execution is terrible. Watch this pass by Carter to Brown in front. Brown gets wide open. Senators trying to come back. Phillips trying to get to Brown, not in time. Uh, that execution was outstanding by the Los Angeles Kings. And this one on a five on four. Neal had just come back into the play, but I'm not so sure you can't see uh, rate it as a five-on-three goal. Neal had barely had the chance to get back to do any kind of help to his teammates. Outside the call as Ryan tried to bowl the puck inside the King zone. Let's look at the faceoff back outside the LA line. There's Dustin Brown. We talked about such a a leader in terms of the captaincy, and yeah, he does get a lot of people upset on the ice at times. Because he will hit you and hit you and hit you, but very seldom will you see him take a major of fighting penalty. So basically, he won't dot drop the gloves. But then again, that certainly has worked to his advantage. Seen it for ten in tonight's game. The gear is working on Bobby Ryan in the corner. Takes Ryan down. Here's McCulloch now. Dowdy. Gets the leg in on him to knock him down and finally flips the puck up into the mesh. And we're going to get a delay of game penalty here against Drew Dowdy as his shot went straight up into the mesh back of the zone. So the Senators will go to the power play. And boy, do they need something good to happen to them soon. Well, there's certainly plenty of opportunity right now with the minute 38 remaining in the period. Certainly not out of the game at all. And you know that in the big picture, if they're able to get on the board now, the Ottawa Senators, and have at least a goal before they go into the end of the period, that would be a big emotional boost. Brown from Carter and Kopitar has made it 3 nothing L.A. Conacher back to the net, trying to reverse the puck quickly for Turris. And he is hauled down. Round the boards it goes and up with it. Here's Trevor Lewis. Trying to get in on Carlson. Carlson catches up and gets a stick in the shooting path on the boards. Still pretty good pace by Trevor Lewis. Not a lot of guys are you know, making a challenge for Carlson to get back. MacArthur falls as he gets inside the King's zone. Gives up the puck in the clear again. Final minute of play here in period number one in Los Angeles. Conacher drops it back. MacArthur tries to slide across the rear cosh, and that makes for the easy clear for Brown. Seems doing a good job on the penalty kill of attacking Ottawa right at the blue line. Here's Ryan inside the zone. Drops it back. Rear cosh. His shot through traffic. Knocked down. Loose puck in front of the channel. Away. Rick was looking behind him, but he had it. He didn't know he had it, but he had it. This is where uh, there's definitely some errors uh, that have been the pent on the bench because Wirtosh does the right thing here. He gets out, no look for a pass this time, just get the shot on net, and a good opportunity developed from it. For, from it. On this one, you can see where Jonathan Fred got that amazing uh, Ability to get those legs out so wide, almost in a split kind of position, and he makes the save on the rebound. Off the win, Ryan gets in there to try and flip up the stick of Willie Mitchell. Does for a moment, and now the puck is cleared back down ice Brandon again by Lewis. Carlson now in the dying seconds of period number one, passes the puck and his stick shears in half. As the puck is sent back out to center, here's Weirkosh. Carlson, new stick. The Costa inside the line, slides it off to the wall. Ryan tries to feed it back to Carlson. Carlson just sends it through looking for something to happen. The Costa backhander, that's blocked. As time expires, a 3-0 Kings lead. Two of them on the power play here in Los Angeles in period number one. Hockey Central at the intermission on the way. Stellick, Shannon, and here is Jeff Merrick. And Dean, I don't think I've ever done this for you before, but this is my Denny Pot fan impression. <clears throat> Shoot the puck. Okay, I don't have the deep voice that Denny has or the 
Stanley Cup rings to boot, but that was a pretty good one nonetheless. In this intermission, we will talk about the Senators trying to pass rather than shoot the puck in the net. Also, the multiple personalities of that man, Dustin Brown. If you're a Kings fan, he's a great bunch of guys. Spotlight on Dustin Brown in a moment. Let's have a look at our scoring summary from the first period, brought to you by your Metro Ford dealers of Ottawa. Sometimes it starts when you least expect it. The Ottawa Senators on a power play. Dustin Brown comes out of the penalty box and picks up an errant puck. And this shot on goal goes in and beats Greg Anderson from the corner to make it 1-0 in his first goal of the season. Jeff Carter and Dustin Brown again, they're both on power play opportunities. Jeff Carter in a five on three, and Dustin Brown, the captain, has really been leading this team. Have not played well in the home opener on Monday night. He got the hits tonight, he's got two goals, and he has just about done what a leader is supposed to do. The LA Kings in that opening period had 68 seconds of five on three power play time. They didn't score, but they were two for two at five on four. So total it all up to two for four in the power play. The LA Kings are with well, Anze Kopitar's assist. He's now got the eighth most points in Kings history, tied with the guys in the booth right beside us. Almirado with 67. Jimmy Fox, who of course is the color commentator on Kings TV now. As we get set to open up period number two, Kyle Turris, Jared Stoll off the draw. Kings control is Mitchell. Fires it all the way back down ice as the Kings still with 15 seconds of Drew Doughty's penalty to burn off. Through the middle lead pass, Weirkosh couldn't connect with a friendly stick and the Kings easily clear it back down ice. Doughty is up now, he is back out now and we're back to five on five. Turris to the line. Two shots on goal during that power play for Ottawa as Dowdy picks up the puck. Back hands it down to the Ottawa line. King's making a change now as Weirkosh, deep in his own zone, picks it up. MacArthur gets tied up by two Kings. They both swarm him as he tries to get out of the zone. Voinov now moves it ahead. They can't get through cleanly. Kopitar will try the other side. Puck is tipped down inside the zone as Regeer sent it ahead. Here's Carlson back of his own net. Carlson. He falls. Kopitar turns it back. Couldn't get it through the crowd and out the center. Here's MacArthur. MacArthur. Tries to scrape the puck ahead. Brown intercepts. Drops it for Williams. Williams shot. Goes off the stick of Weirkosh. And that floats to the corner. Buck is poked ahead by McCulloch, but on the fresh ice, it floats all the way down inside the King zone. Here's Voina now, trying to get away from McCulloch. Shovels it along the board. The Costa turns it back for McCulloch. Kopitar ties him up. Puck is flipped ahead, back to the point. Corvo tries to snap it through a crowd. Doesn't get through, though, as it's knocked down by Kyle Clifford on the way there. Mitchell being worked on by Bobby Ryan. Kings break it up to center. Williams on the right side. That's across the line. That one called offside. Is trapped inside the zone. Was the aforementioned Kyle Clifford. Now, uh, Bobby Ryan certainly getting a lot of attention as soon as he landed here on the West Coast at practice time. Uh, we saw yesterday where there was a group of people that come up from Anaheim, uh, friends and uh, certainly fans who wanted a lot of Bobby Ryan. They certainly took a lot of pictures. Well, not many of them, but he signed a lot of autographs. I believe they brought everything they had. Yeah. I was unaware while he was in Anaheim that they actually had Bobby Ryan underwear. Didn't know that. He's Carcillo to the board. Bouncing puck picked up by Anderson. Corvo sends it ahead. Neal off the boards. Puck is held in at the line nicely by Alec Martinez. Now we get a whistle. That one flipped off a stick up into the mesh, and a face-off will come back to the right of Anderson. One of the things that everyone knew coming in, especially with Spets out of the lineup, 
is that it was going to be a big advantage for Daryl Sutter's LA Kings in the faceoff circle. There's a lot of experience there with Kopitar, Richards, and then you figure Jared Stoll at 31 years old. There's a big edge, and uh, you knew uh, that that was going to be tough. So the Senators in period one only won 35% of those faceoffs. On well, that one line with Richards and Carcillo. Richards gets kicked out. You get no relief in Carter. He's a natural center, and you're not getting much of a trailing off when he takes the draw. Kings back into the Ottawa zone. Carlson in the corner as he tries to turn Clifford around. Back to the point. Shot is low and wide by Robin Regeer. Now Mafat hits the buck ahead. Carlson slides it back to Mafat. Now to your point, Dean, they, you know they have eight, six natural centermen. In the lineup, do the LA Kings. Off the boards. Peugeot tied up, loses the puck. Flipped off the boards, back out to center. King tied up at the line by Jared Cowan. Couldn't get through. Lead pass by Carlson to Condu. Doesn't connect cleanly. Now to the corner. Here's Stoll. As he tries to get around Carlson. Back to the point. There's a quick shot that goes off a stick and up into the mesh. It's Slava Voinov, I think, just didn't want to get a whole lot on it or knew he didn't have time, just wanted to get something to the net. You know, a lot of people talk about uh, Drew Doughty as the big guy in L.A. Well, this young 23-year-old Russian is another big guy. Just signed a long-term six-year deal for some $25 million. Los Angeles Kings loves what he brings to the game. A combination of solid defense, great skating, just a little level below Doughty. But certainly a young, developing defenseman. They have a lot of faith in. Well, last year in the 48-game season, they both played 48, and Boynoff actually ended up with more points than Drew Doughty did. Three more. He had 25. Doughty had 22. They both had six goals. Out to center, lead pass just out of the reach of Weirkosh. Oh, that makes her a pretty uh, solid defense score when your first pair includes Doughty and Regeer. There's a veteran, big and strong. And then you throw the second pair on, and you've got Boynoff. And Mitchell, who also a veteran, having come back after two knee surgeries. Quite amazing. I say that because he's 36 years old. Boy, Mitchell could have just said, I'm going to pack it in. No, nope. he went 15 months rehab. And now is playing regularly for these Kings, having missed all of last year. Back to the point. Mathot holds it in. Metallic back of the net tried to swing it back out front. Up along the boards, loses the puck. He's still tie with it. This Kings team won the cup two years ago. Max Smith comes in and blasts Williams. Brown is taken into the boards by Colin Greeny. Neal goes wide side with the puck. Greeny now flips it down inside the zone. Last year they got to the conference final, lost in five games to the Blackhawks, the eventual Stanley Cup winners. And this is primarily still the same team. The team has not changed all that much. Carlson steals the puck. Carlson out at center now, down to the line. Takes it wide, dumps the puck in behind the net. Greening in behind the goal. Here's Turris. Turris backhanded. Quick makes the save, and the puck is flipped back out to center. Now we see the center starting to initiate the play, getting hits on the LA Kings instead of taking them and then dumping pucks at the net. Curtis now trying to work himself away from Richards. Richards pokes it off his stick. Back to the point. He tries to send it to Phillips. Couldn't get it that far. And out to center now. Carcillo falls at the line, and that creates the offside call. And they face off just outside the Ottawa zone. Make sure you don't miss any NFL Thursday night football action as the New York Giants visit the Chicago Bears. That game tomorrow at 8 p.m. Eastern time. And you can find it on Sportsnet East, Ontario, as well as Sportsnet West and Pacific. Off the draw, Voinoff again. Fires the puck into the Ottawa zone. Here's Corvo now in behind his own net. Deals it off, Phillips out to center. Pajot shovels the puck down inside the LA zone. Lee Mitchell off the board. Knocked down by Condre who steals the puck. Now trying to get away from Voinoff who runs him off the puck. Back along the boards. Corvo comes in to try and hold the puck inside the zone. Condre with the steal, scores! 
Pajot breaks the shutout bid. Ottawa's on the board. That is a great sigh of relief that I think I'm hearing from Jean-Gabriel Pajot. We talked about his struggles so far, about how he may be overmatched because of experience. But he is so determined, and he went to the net and helped create that opportunity that scored the first goal for the Ottawa Senators. His shot, he went in where the traffic is tough. And he made it happen since the beginning of the period. We saw the Senators probably having had a good talking to by the coaching staff initiate, not only in strong on the forecheck, but with hits, and then driving to the net, the diminutive Pajo gets rewarded. Now a conversation between Nolan and McCulloch before the puck drop. Costa wins the draw, and here's Carlson. Slides it across, Mathot. Back to the neutral zone to Costa. Good contact immediately as the puck arrived by Stahl. Now here's Dowdy, back to the zone net. Gives the puck away, but it hops off the stick of McCall. King at center, Carlson angles him off as the puck goes up and out of play. Senators on the board, Pajot gets his first of the season. You know what, a little time out is plenty of rest. Joe Corvo gets another tap on the shoulder, and I'll show you why. He was just on the ice for the goal. Look at the top left of your screen. A lot of work down low, but Corvo presses the play. He puts pressure, and that leads to the puck down low, leads to the turnover by Avoidoff, and then the puck in the net by Pajo. So Joe Corvo, Joe Corvo knowing that he's going to be in and, of, in and out of the lineup, uh, producing there offensively simply by forcing the play deep in the L.A. zone and creating the eventual goal by Jean-Gabriel Pajot. Corvo gets an assist on that goal. Back up front. Williams with a shot. That's blocked. Didn't get full wood on it. Phillips knocked it down. Ottawa clears it out. Oh, and that puck came up and hit Neal in the face. I think it may have gone all off his own stick as that was chopped ahead and it came right up and hit Neal in the face. Well, that I think I, I, I think you're right. It did go up his own hockey stick as he was trying to reach on Martinez, who was scrambling just to get the puck outside the zone. There's 27 Martinez chopping at it. Well, I think it just goes directly. I'm not sure it hit the hockey stick, but directly in the face of Chris Neal, the groan by the crowd here as they see it on the big board. Everybody can have a sense of how that feels. Ouch. Yeah, I've, I've talked to people. It's not pleasant. And one of those things, one of the reasons why it's, you don't expect it. You don't see it coming. It's all of a sudden you're, you're right there and all of a sudden the puck's just hitting you. Also in a game where the Ottawa Senators are going to be looking to match the Kings physically, it's pretty tough to lose a Chris Neal, but I am making the prediction. Okay. A little cut in the forehead is not going to have him out very long. They'll either suture him up or glue him together. What is it they do now? And he'll be back out soon. Yeah, they, have that, they have that skin glue they put on, unless they have a doctor right there that's close to intermission. A lot of times what will happen apparently is they will glue them up and just get everything sealed up, and then at first intermission or after the game, they will put some stitches in. It's Conacher gets his stick chopped in half right off the face off by Carcillo, and that goes unseen by Dave Jackson and Francois Saint Laurent. Yeah. Well, John Gervais, the uh, equipment manager, was right on top of that. He had Conacher's stick. Richards in front. Carter, pad saved by Anderson. Carlson skates by one, can't get by the second. As Carcillo gives the puck away, but on second effort, holds it in. Richards along the boards, Mafat trying to give him a rough ride. That's them three and Conniker out to center, through the middle. And McCarthy flips the puck to the corner, tries to go in and chase it. And Mitchell runs it around the boards on the other side, Carcillo. Leads it ahead, Richards floats it down inside the Ottawa zone. Kings change all five. Down, leads the puck through center, back down to the Kings line. Matt Green now. Green fires the puck to the corner. Anderson out of the net. Leaves it there. Tried to send the puck ahead. It's not down. Back the other way. Matt Fratton 
wheels it back high to the point. Green flying, fires through the crowd. That's knocked down. Again, Green, his shot. This time, the floater is gloved down by Anderson, and he will hold on. And now Anderson having a bit of a conversation with the referee. I talked a bit about guys watching video. You know, goaltenders do as well. At 77 and Black Carter, leading score with two goals for the Kings. Got a pretty good opportunity here as uh, he picks up the puck and one spin around from the high slot. Gets a shot on goal. Not a lot of action for Craig Anderson early here in the second period, but I've counted two very key saves that he has made already. And that is how we say and why we say a goaltender, even though they were down 3 0 coming into the period. He made two saves to keep his team within striking distance. The fourth lines are out there. Condra fires it around the boards. Back along the wall. Phillips comes down to hold it in. Here's Cassian in behind the net. Runs it back to the point. Corvo holds it in. Out the other side. Here's Condra. Knocked off his stick by Stahl. Condra again centers the puck. Just slides away from the stick of Cassian. Phillips. Down the wall to hold it in. There's a shot knocked down by Drew Dowdy. Finally picked up, and Nolan gets it back to center. Phillips. Sees it across. Corvo. King's changing, so he gets some open ice to stare at. Here to head, shift to the line. Dowdy knocks it down, taps it ahead for Williams. Through the middle. Here's Brown. Loses the puck at the Ottawa line. Quickly back the other way. Bobby Ryan fires it in, goes to chase it himself. Down the boards it goes. Puck is cleared as Cowan gives Williams a bump. And Brown with a steal. Brown moving in. His shot. And that goes off the post. Nearly a hat trick goal for Brown. Local sports on Rogers TV. Your community. Your teams. For the most local sports, watch Rogers TV. Having a whale of a game for his team. The captain, Dustin Brown, shoots one right over top of the shoulder, grazes the crossbar. Off the face off, Greening couldn't get it off the wall and out. Williams back in that turned around by Jared Cowan. Cowan puts him into the boards. Zach Smith flips the puck ahead, but not out. From the point, puck is kicked out by Anderson with that shot coming in from Alec Martinez. Here's Zach Smith again in the corner. Again, digs the puck free to the line. And Colin Greening had an all time kinds of trouble tonight clearing the puck. Puck is chipped back to the neutral zone. Finally picked up and down to the line. This is a shot by Bobby Ryan, gloved down. And we'll take a break. A two goal lead for the Kings here in period number two in Los Angeles. Scotiabank Community Hockey is brought to you by Scotiabank. You're richer than you think. As proud supporters of kids' community hockey teams across Canada, Scotiabank wants to hear from your team how your team is impacting or giving back to your community. Tag your stories and photos using hashtag Scotiabank for a chance to be recognized on an upcoming Senators broadcast. All right, thank you very much, Sean. Face off now to the right with Jonathan Quick. With the loss of Chris Neal, who got a puck in the face moments ago. Forcing Paul McClain to juggle his lines around a bit. So moments ago we saw Bobby Ryan with Zach Smith and Colin Greening. This line stays the same though. MacArthur Tourist, Conacher right off the drop, puck to the side of the net. Here's Conacher in behind the net. Tourist centers it in front. McArthur couldn't get a shot away. Back to the point. Carlson settles it down. Fires it through on the other side. Turret sweeps it back to the thought. His shot gloved down. And a save is made as McArthur is asking the referee why exactly was he tackled yeah. in the corner by Richards. The puck nowhere close to him and there's no penalty call. And now the conversation continues with the referee as everyone clears the ace on the line change. But I don't believe he's going to get the answer he wants from Francois Saint Laurent. Well, that was clearly an interference call, but I think Richard sold it pretty well as, you know, uh, unintended, yeah. uh, unintended contact. <laughs> <Yeah. Okay. laughs> Off the draw, we get a whistle, and they'll do this all over again. 
and go back and ask them to reset the clock. 0.2 seconds we put back on. That will clearly have a major effect on Off the draw, Regeer around the boards, not out. Carlson, nifty move, cuts in his shot. And that goes off the leg of Trevor Lewis and up into the mesh. As Carlson just bamboozled at the line as the leader is now Clifford. Well, winning the faceoff should be easy to get it out, but there you see where Carlson, the puck comes to him, and that just makes a neat little move. I tell you what, that is a tough thing for Clifford. Going to turn down into something much worse for the Kings. Puck back out to center. And now Paul McLean has Bobby Ryan playing with Condra and Pajot. I do see Chris Neal back on the bench. He's trying to ship the puck to himself over the corner. Back around the other side on the right, there is Neal. Back on the bench, as you predicted. Let's be honest. You know, Chris Neal is one of the tougher guys. If he doesn't come back, nine times out of ten, there's something very wrong. A cut is not going to generally, unless it's in a very dangerous area, not going to keep him out. Here's Clifford. Carlton on him. Cycles it back in behind the net. Pajot cuts in to get to the puck. Turns back, and now Pajot sends the puck ahead. Here's Ryan at center. Tied up as he tried to slide by Green. Didn't work. Carlson picks it up. Now the thought. Lee pass. Condra tips it in. Ottawa will change as DeCosta goes firing in to try and pick it up. Back out to center. In the neutral zone. Puck is tipped into the Ottawa end. Weirkosh runs it around the boards. Here's DeCosta. Tries to tip it by Green. Doesn't work. Off the boards. King sends it back the other way. Weirkosh. Stolen. Corner collide. Here's Nolan now. Back against the flow. Nolan turns. Works the puck low. King has it slide by him. Greeny comes back. Lifts it back to Cowan. He's not in any danger. It appears on that shift. But just spending so much time in their own end. And all the while the Kings are allowed to make are able to make line changes. There's Ken with a shot that goes off a leg. Out to center. Here's DaCosta. Floats the puck ahead. Green. Inside the zone. Back ends the puck to the corner. DaCosta and Boynoff bump. Puck comes free. Williams sends it ahead as he takes some contact from McCollum. Here's Torres now. Gets it back in Corvo. Slaps it. Down inside the LA zone. In the corner, Torres in trying to get it. Conica comes in to help him. Neither can get a hold of it as Kopitar sends it back out to center. Phillips now. Ahead to Torres. Snaps it down inside the LA zone. Traffic. Scrapes it back in behind the net. Torres back in front again, trying to feed it through for Conica. They couldn't connect. Back to the line. Corvo comes all the way across from his spot. Keep the puck in. Here's Phillips now. Lines doesn't fire. Back in front. Honecker with a shot, and that goes off the stick of Voinov and up into the mesh. As now Voinov getting pushing and shoving and general displeasure from both sides. Torres now. Getting the face wash. Well, there's nothing wrong with a little bit of... Uh... Emotion coming to the surface here for the Ottawa Senators. Several good shifts in a row. And interestingly enough, with the absence of uh, Chris Neal, Coach Paul McLean had to change the lines around. And maybe he will have found some combinations that he likes other than this trio, which has been good all along. And we saw a lot of line combinations different than normal for the while that Chris Neal was off the ice. There he is. Not a tough prediction to make on my part, I have to admit. No, no. You can see the top of his nose there. They have either stitched or glued that back together for now. Fortunate for Chris, I don't believe the team picture is going to be held anytime in the next few days. Because let's face it, you've seen it a million times. You've had a million of them. By tomorrow, that will be probably the right eye half closed and black and blue with shades of yellow and green mixed in for. Nice fall color. Kind of like colors we wear out here in Southern California. 
Cross ice now. Carlson to Matt Cassian takes a bump at the line as Ian Green alive. along the boards. King gives the puck away to Neal back in front. Zach Smith tries to get a shot through, but that hits a body on the way to the net. Here's Nolan now, slides it through. Martinez swings it around the net out the other side. Finds the late man, Dowdy. Dowdy with a shot, and that one deflects off a leg to the corner. Nolan along the board just wants to keep it in. King's changing. Richards just off the bench, floats it in, redirected by King, and Anderson makes the save and holds on. Still a two goal lead for the Kings here in period two. Anything for hockey brought to you by Molson Canadian, diehard fan and proud partner of the Ottawa Senators. You know, it's, it comes to be expected, but for a guy like Chris Steele, sometimes it's not just the puck in the face, it's how quickly you can come back. Chris Steele took the puck right between the eyes and then came back. You see where a little blood is, but nothing has changed in his game. Anything for hockey. Chris Steele went right back to doing what he does best, and that makes body contact. Face off to the right of Anderson off the drop. Priscilla. Carter comes in. Here's Carter. Back to the point. Through traffic. The shot by Mitchell. The flex to the corner. Weirkosh to Cowan. Conacher with no stick. And wisely lets Cowan know that before Cowan turns to look for him. So he just lobs the puck down ice. Quick covers it for a faceoff. And the early conversation is now Persillo and Conacher having words. As is Conacher with Slava Voinov. Yeah, Carcillo making his first appearance on the ice for the Kings this year. Healthy scratch the first couple of games, but uh, listening to Coach Daryl Sutter, he had to make some personnel changes. The team just was sliding down the wrong way, and uh, certainly the Kings have had a much better first period than they've seen the Kings play since the beginning of the season. The second period, those Senators have come back and showed a lot more spunk. Out to center, Mathot floats it back to the line. Here's Conjure. Got all tangled up in a crush of bodies. Ryan and Dowdy. Dowdy takes down Ryan in the penalty call. No, actually, no penalty call. The puck was just gloved ahead. And because of that, faceoff will come outside the line. Make sure you don't miss the Sens opening weekend versus the New Jersey Devils in the 17th. And yes, parking is free, compliments of Canadian Tire. And in the 19th, the Edmonton Oilers come to town for the only time this season. For more information, go to capitaltickets.ca. Uh, face off rolling puck, Carlson tips to the head for Condra. Back to the way, Pajot to the line. Leaves it there, Bobby Ryan now weaving along the boards, bumped off the puck, gives it away, and Lewis tries to send it across ice, but Condra tips it. Sent all the way down ice. Goes off as Anderson comes out to play it, then gets himself all jammed up in behind the net. DaCosta, out to center. Here's DaCosta rolling puck, trying to get it to settle down. It's slapped away from him before he can. And Trevor Lewis fires it back the other way. Carlson along the boards is spun around, but then slaps the puck to his partner. The thought floats it out to center, and it trickles down to the Kings line. Martinez, cross ice King to the corner. Here's Jared Stahl. Stahl runs it around the boards in the corner. Nolan gets tied up. DaCosta knocked down as he headmans the puck out to center. Lead pass. Here's McCulloch busting in. His shot right on. Save is made. As quick holds the angle and Neal now goes in. Looking to try and test out the strength of the new stitches or glue currently placed in the middle of his face. Well, this is a nice play from uh, the defensive zone to the offensive zone. And it's started by Mark Mathaw. He's got the puck on the backhand. You love to see this. I love to see it. A lot of guys have to pull the puck back to make the pass on the outside. Mathaw makes a perfect strike on the pass. A floater right on the stick. And then McCulloch gets a shot on goal. Many more positive signs for the Ottawa Senators in this second period. 
Kaiser comes in to try and win the puck for his center minister. A scramble to draw and a good move by McCarthy. Got him in the mix to keep it alive in the zone. Now Williams steals it and Ottawa has to come back out. Phillips chases it down to his own line. Slides it across and Corvo snaps it away from Kopitar. It's Willie Mitchell off the boards. Down turns to try and get away from McCarthy. Down up the center. Taps the puck down to the Ottawa line. Phillips comes across ice and here's Kopitar. Kopitar gets the feed in behind Phillips and get a partial slew foot as he goes down. Corvo, long lead pass. Here's Conacher at the line. Conacher tries to drop it back in front. MacArthur to Cowan, who was all alone in front but couldn't take the pass. And now without a stick, Williams just protects the puck until Mitchell gets there to flip it down to the Ottawa end. Interesting how Cowan's only goal of the season in Toronto came from exactly the same spot, the high slot. Anderson out to play it. Boyan off with a shot and a blocker saved by Anderson. He had to hustle to get back to the net. Trickles to his glove and he will hold on for a faceoff inside the Senators' end. This HD broadcast presented by Bell 5 TV. Watching hockey just got better. The normal, uh, very reliable communication between uh, Craig Anderson and defense seems to be a little bit off. Uh, just lately in behind the net, you saw Craig Anderson get in a bit of a problem with the L.A. Kings and one of his own just on the recent play. Seemed to be a little indecisive as to what to do with the loose puck. Goaltenders need help from their defensemen. Off the cycle, back to the point. Dowdy with a shot and it is knocked down and held on to by Anderson. Then he is speared by Carter. Carcillo comes in and... He wants to do what he does best, which is up the temperature of any shift he is on. He has been, I think, and you'd have to say, for Carcillo, relatively quiet in the game so far. Yeah. The agitation level is usually a lot higher when he plays. Well, I think, you know, he sort of has found his way here because of his energy, but there's a fine line for Carcillo. He gets overboard. Here, the save is made through the crowd. Again, a good wrist shot by Dowdy. And there you see Carcillo going right in on the little skirmish that started off. Well, I wouldn't even call it that between Carter and Wilcox. Well, it left Philadelphia, basically. The word in Philadelphia when he left is he just took too many needless penalties. Yeah. And that kind of became a liability. In Chicago last year, he only played 23 games. He started the season, actually, on the number one line because of an injury. And very quickly, that changed. And... It really got back in the lineup again on a regular basis and again inopportune penalties and some questionable penalties kind of kiboshed a lot of his ice time. Greeny wins the puck, centers it, but nobody there. Now Lewis back out to center. With the line flips the puck in. He's taken to the corner. Zach Smith ties him up. Carlson trying to come out with the puck, kicks it ahead to himself. Here's Carlson. Ahead to Zach Smith for the line and in, but Neal had to stop because it was, it would have been offside. Regeer out to center. Tipped by Corvo all the way back down ice. Phillips back to get it with King chasing him. King puts his 230 pound frame into Chris Phillips. Here's Corvo jumping back because he nearly overskated the puck and they'll start this breakout all over again. Turn the forwards, regroup, and now back inside the zone. Here's DaCosta. Tries to float it in looking for a rebound, but none to be had as Jonathan Quick covers it. And now more conversation down around the L.A. goal. You know, sometimes when you look at these scrums, it's important to think about what is going on in the minds of the players. And for a guy like DeCosta or many guys, sometimes I feel it takes more guts to just back off and not get involved in the pushing and shoving and name calling than it does just to continue it because at some point the control goes over to the referee and you end up being called for something that you should have had no reason to be involved in. That's called discipline. Kopitar and Torres hook up right off the draw. Kings come out with it. Last minute to play in the second period. Final minute of play here in period number two as Jared Cowan stands up Williams in the neutral zone. Off the glass and back out, Weirkosh sends it. 
Here's Voinoff, winds up, fires it back in again. Anderson out of the net, teams it up there. Jared Callan. His lead pass for Turris doesn't connect. Bouncing puck just outside the Kings line. And Kopitar drops it back to the defense. Makes a giveaway. This time it's will send it up the boards, and they do get it back out again. Weirkosh turns to chase it with Brown on him. Sends it off the boards, back out to center. Turris to the line. Kings fortunate not to get called with too many men as they were playing the puck, and they still have an extra man who's trying to change, but seven or eight feet away from the bench. Puck is tipped in. Here's Weirkosh with it. Weirkosh's attempt to pass it back to a forward, knocked down. And the are just trying to protect the puck. As the horn goes to end period number two, Senators get on the board to break the shed up. They've been still two goals down after two periods of play. Gord Stella, John Shannon, Hockey Central at the intermission. Here's your host, Jeff Merrick. Yeah, Dean, thanks very much. Much better period of play there for the Ottawa Senators coming up this second intermission. Gord Stella breaks down the play of Craig Anderson, turning aside all nine shots he faced in that frame. Also, John Shannon will talk about the energy line, the spark for the Ottawa Senators team in that second period. That is Jean-Gabriel Pajot and Eric Condra. Fourth line talks. We kick off the second intermission in moments. Look at our second period scoring summary brought to you by The Brick. Nobody beats The Brick for furniture, mattresses, appliance, and big screen TVs. You know, in hockey lingo, you kind of try and break it down. So the first period was won by the LA Kings and virtue of Jean-Gabriel Peugeot's goal. There you see the assist by uh, Condra and Corvo. Well, essentially, the Ottawa Senators won the second period. Now it's a question of who's going to win the third. And you talk about leadership, as I did a little earlier in the night. Dustin Brown leads the team in hits, has a couple of goals on the night. And you know what? He was a finalist for the Mark Messier Leadership Award last year. And you may remember in Ottawa, the fellow who won that award was Daniel Alfredson. Right behind was this young man, Dustin Brown, as the... Mark Messier Award finalist. Now, we mentioned earlier that this team really hasn't changed all that much from the team that won the Cup two years ago. He is one of 17 players that remain from that Stanley Cup team. On average, each year, win or lose, teams change, on average, about 20% of their roster. It really is an amazing thing that this L.A. team still has 17 members from their Cup team two years ago. Usually... You can't afford to keep all the guys you want. And that was the case for L.A. They couldn't afford to keep everybody. But they have managed to keep the, the core together. From last year, gone are Penner, Scuderi, Richardson, and, of course, Bernier. Now in Toronto, Carcillo, Frattens, and Scrivens are some of the new faces here in Los Angeles. But by and large, everybody's the same. Here's Brown. Got two looking for three. Instead, helps it into the crest of Anderson. Well, there's no question the Ottawa Senators need Anderson to also get better as this game goes on. And there was the first of the challenges, the turnover at the Ottawa Blue Line, not a two-on-one because of the hustle coming back. But Anderson was able to focus on the one shooter. And a good job by Conacher to come back and pick up Justin Williams, who was trying to make it a two-on-one break. Off the draw, Carter couldn't get a good shot away. Back to the corner. Cowan banks it ahead, deflects up into the air, and McCulloch trying to press it out of the zone. Can't do it. Moving in, Richards with a shot that's blocked by Weirkosh. Richards back to the point. Here's Mitchell, sends a shot through. Glove down by Anderson with Carcillo and Carter in there. And now Jared Cowan comes over to invite Carter to not poke his goaltender. Yeah, Jared Cowan is part of his job, whether or not he likes it. The Ottawa Senators have defensemen and drafted defensemen who are in the 6'4 range, 225 pounds. Jared Cowan is certainly one of them. And you have to understand that is going to be part of what you have to do. You were blessed with that kind of size and obviously talent to play in the NHL. But you do, as a big guy, have to come in and stand in for your smaller teammates. 
and particularly for your goalie. Jared and I, I can tell you this right now, Jared and I are currently having a disagreement. We talked about it in the locker room today. He's listed at six foot five. He's out there with Weirkosh, who is six foot five. He's taller than Weirkosh. I said to him, you're six foot six. He said, no, I'm not. I said, when's the last time you were measured? He said, a couple of years ago. I said, well, I think you've grown. Yeah. That, what, what, what have I asked him to sit down when I talked to him. He's a big otherwise, man. otherwise, it hurts my neck to look up that high. Well, the thing, too, is that he's not just a tall guy. He's a big man. Like yeah. He's 225, 230, and still growing, you know? Here's Chris Neal. Slides it across ice and Colin Greeny. Dumps it down to the corner in the L.A. zone, out of the net. Quick shovels it back the other way, and here's Carter. Out to center, and Neal rubs him off the puck. Joe Corbo picks it up at his own line. Corbo takes the drop from Phillips. Turns to be safe with the puck. Gives it back to Phillips. And now finally they get out of their own zone. They can't make a clean connection with Pajot to get him down inside the L.A. zone. The gear drops it back and here's Dowdy with it now. His lead pass. King's having trouble getting out as Regeer will try the other side now. And King gets it by Carlson. Pajot through the middle. Tried to feed it to Condor who has to dive to get it away from King. Got the shovel back to the neutral zone. And here's Regeer. Taps it along the boards. Carlson in to get it. Throws it cross ice. Out to center. Ryan to the line but can't get in cleanly. Now Mafat again to the line. Andre Along the boards. Ryan slides it to the corner. Here's DaCosta, puts it back to the net. First on it, though, is Matt Fratton. Carlson slides it across. And the lead pass goes off a stick right down to the Kings line. Quickly, Mitchell sends it back the other way. Backhander gloved down by Anderson as that quick little backhander from Trevor Lewis was low and snagged by Anderson. Do not miss the next Canadian Tire Hockey broadcast. It's the return of Bobby Ryan as the Senators take on the Anaheim Ducks Sunday at 8 p.m. Eastern Time. You can catch that on Sportsnet East as well as Sportsnet Ontario. Thank you very much, Sean. So here's the play there. Big road trip of the year comes right off the top of the schedule, which in some ways, Denny, is a benefit for them because now that you have full crossover again in the league, you've got the two big Western road trips. You've got the Canadian Western road trip and you've got the American Western road trip. And what you don't want as a team is you don't want those both to be in the second half of the season when you're in a playoff push and you have to go out west twice and go through the time zone changes. So. Out of a fortunate in one way at least to get one of the western road swings out of the way early. Well, you know, Dean, the other thing that I, I have sort of I've been asked about, you know, how tough is it to start on the road? Well, for Paul McLean, I, I'm thinking this is the best scenario you could possibly have because the team, as a team, only had a couple of days of practice after the long training camp and having all 53 players. Now you've got five days, one game, and four really good days of practice. Don't all forget that early in the season, particularly when you're on the road. So you turn that negative into a positive. Long shot knocked away by Anderson. Puck to the corner. Tough part, though, for Ottawa. Playing some really good teams. San Jose, who they yeah. play on Saturday. Holy mackerel. Are they going to go on early or what? They are just crushing people. And big teams, just like this one. Teams that are big and strong. McCulloch inside the zone. Holds up, looks for the late trader. Can't find him, goes cross ice. Mathot with a shot. That's knocked down before it gets to the net. Richards now. Back hands it to the line. Mathot knocks it down, winds and fires, and that one goes over top of the goal. Carlson tries to hold it in, but Carcillo chips it through center, back down to the Ottawa end. Paul McLean, this was always uh, one of the measure up games when you look at the schedule because how L.A. plays such a great four line kind of a hockey game and certainly the Senators would like to emulate that. But he was anxious to see how the Senators would match up against his Kings. As Joe inside the line, centering pass for Ryan doesn't get through. 
Condor tried to push it through a crowd. Doesn't work. Back the other way. King wide side. Stoll, his shot. Knocked down by Anderson. Puck spills back to the corner. Stoll back out the other side. Tries to run it back to Mitchell. He has to wait for it. And taps it back to the corner. Here's Nolan. Phillips. Takes him off the puck. King tries to turn it back to the net, but he's knocked down. Now Nolan, his pass. Just barely gets back to the point. Boynoff. Delays, throws the puck low, takes a weird bounce. Phillips gets the turn in front of King. Sends it ahead and out to center. Here's Pajot. To Ryan. Backhands the puck in, gets off on his change. Both teams on a change now. Now interesting seeing Pajot with Ryan. Clifford with a shot that went off the glove of Anderson and over the net. Wrist of the line, his shot. Goes off the stick of Regeer and up into the glass. Pass back to the point. By MacArthur knocks off the stick all the way back down ice. Here's Cowan back to get it. Nicely waved off as they go into the boards together. Now Turris. Looks it ahead. Tipped in by Conacher. Conacher. Now gets to Dowdy. Runs Dowdy into the boards on the way by. Back to the point. Weirkosh with a shot right on. Save is made by Quick. Weirkosh again. Blinds and fires again. That's deflected before it gets to the net. Conacher taken down. Back in front. Turris with a shot. That's blocked. Turris just trying to find the bouncing puck. And we're going to get a penalty call here. Interference is the call. Looks like Dustin Brown got caught up with Weirkosh. And it's going to go to the penalty box. And this opens up the opportunity for the Ottawa Senators, a team who have really picked up their game beginning back in the second period. See Weirkosh coming in, pulled down by Dustin Brown, and that's where the penalty is called. Well, this is a different angle of the shot you made a little earlier. Anderson saw the shot, got a piece of it, but lost it very quickly. Fortunately, went over the net. Interference. He's 0 for 2 on the power play with five shots tonight. Carlson gets it across. Ryan with a shot. Scores! Bobby Ryan blows it over the glove of Jonathan Quick. You need to know how many reasons why this is a good goal for Bobby Ryan and the Ottawa Senators. Well, just to give you a start, he's had his critics early. It's been tough for that line, the top line. As Paul McLean said, maybe a line that can become the top line in the National Hockey League. Well, a good play here by defenseman Carlson, but Bobby Ryan has been picking that top corner in practice for several days. Now that he had a pretty good opportunity, he just let it rip. No chance for goaltender Jonathan Quick. And just that quickly, the Ottawa Senators have put themselves back in the game. One goal behind. First power play goal of the season gets them, them, them to within one of the Kings here in the third period. Ottawa goal. A power play goal. Senators win the draw. Here's Carlson. Delays now Green. Back hands it in. Centering pass, knocked down. Neal tried to get it back to Green and they couldn't do it. Here's Carter now. Back to the middle. Carlson comes across and breaks up the rush into the zone. Ryan from Carlson and Chris Phillips. And Carlson again to the line. Deflected in by Neal. Jack Smith into chase it. Beats the Hall and back the other way now. Richards out to center. His pass. Knocked down by Carlson. On the follow-up, Martinez floats the puck in. Ottawa changing now, as are the Kings. Here's Mathot. Shovels the puck ahead. Out of the reach, though, of DeCosta. Kopitar turns at his own line. Gets the puck ahead into the zone. Anderson gloves that down with Brown sliding down on him. Bobby Ryan gets his first of the year. It's a power play. Goal gets Ottawa to within one here on Canadian Tires, Senators Hockey. Well, you may wonder why Bobby Ryan had such a powerful wrist shot. I'll tell you why. When Bobby Ryan gets set up to get the pass, watch his feet. He circles up high. He sees he's getting the pass. Now look, bingo, one, two, three steps. And the motion is forward, leading into the shot. Now he's got more velocity than had he just stood there waiting for the pass and also got himself 
turned around for the quick shot. Just a couple of steps created much more velocity on that wrist shot. Turris and Kopitar, as Mathot and Williams take turns slashing each other. Conacher, his shot goes off the stick of Regeer over top of the mesh and into row 27. But he is one little ball of fire, I tell you what. He had never played against the Los Angeles Kings, obviously, rookie season last year. Nobody played the Western Conference team for the East. So he was looking forward to this. Looking forward to the trip, as a matter of fact. First game here in Los Angeles. Well, you don't have this team, Denny. You know. yeah. It's not just first game in Los Angeles. When you've got a team like Ottawa that has 11 players with under 200 games of NHL experience, and a team where you've got 10 players who are 25 years of age or less. We've got a lot of guys on this team that have never been to California. Mm -hmm. Carlson to the line, slides it through. McCarthy, gonna drive the puck down to the corner. McGear takes that away from him, comes out of the corner with it though. Tries to feed the point from a thought that is intercepted though by Matt Pratton. And he dumps it back down ice. Pratton back in the Ottawa zone. Easily stripped of the puck by Carlson. And now, here's Ryan. Trying to center it away from Boynon. Side of the net. McCulloch couldn't reach it. Round the board to Joe. Out the center. Clifford sends it wide side down to the line. Pratt. Trending it around Cowan. Cowan stops him up. Still to the corner. Ryan. Trying to wrestle the puck away from Kyle Clifford. Weirtosh now as he works on his neck. Lewis gets it across. Going off of the shot, but DeCosta reaches in, gets a stick on that, and deflects it up into the mesh. A little bit of running around your own zone, but actually, one of the things that you, you do something well deep in the zone, Bobby Ryan came back to take the guy, but that sort of threw the defenseman off. Now you get the puck in a position for the good shot, but fortunately, DeCosta able to get there and get a stick on it and nullify any attempt. Here's Neal off the drop. Tries to throw it cross ice, instead gives it away. And Nolan's wrister misses. Stole back in that round the boards, here's Neal. Martinez tried to come down the wall and hold it in and met a little freight train called Chris Neal and went down. Sounders finally get it back out. Another zone, breaks on, Green. Tries to throw it through the middle, snaps his stick in half. Here's Pajot, gets a shot away. Neal comes in, puck is tipped away. Green is trying to hit guys as we get a whistle, and we've got a piece of the stick down in the... It's only helmet the, is off. Yeah, stick down in the crease. Quick's helmet is off. Other piece of the stick is in the high slot. <laughs> and right or wrong, you can, you can call the goaltender for delay of game if he takes his own mask off, but the rule is whether he takes it off himself or not, for safety reasons, if the referee sees him with his helmet off and the puck's in the zone, he has to go, he has to blow it down. And you can see there that Quick has blown a strap and he knows it and he takes it off, which is supposed to be a yeah. delay of game penalty, sure, but the referee is still required for safety reasons, penalty or not, to blow it dead if the goaltender doesn't have his helmet on. Well, I'm of the opinion that he should have gotten it that way. All right. But then again, the people who matter in the strike could not. That angle shot and quick as to lean into that as the Costa tried that sneaky little shot off the wall from a bad angle and it nearly caught quick pulling off the post. Now going back to the helmet thing, Danny, a goaltending coach will tell you if he's blown a strap, he is just as susceptible to injury if he leaves the helmet on and takes another shot to the head. I'm just telling you what a goaltending coach is. Yeah. I'm not saying you're wrong. I'm just telling you that would be the argument coming back. Uh, my argument for the opposing team is when do you know? Down. Well, he, he did get hit with a puck up in that area. And obviously, it made it a bit of a problem. Zach Smith to the line. Slides it across to Costa's shot. Doesn't get through a gaggle of bodies. Mathot fires in from the point to keep it alive. Greeny back along the board. Here's Mathod now. Greeny. 
Robinson to pick up the puck. Back to the point. The Costa had gone to the point to take McCaw's spot. Back on the other side. Carlson shot. That's knocked down. Now Carlson has to win it back from Carcillo and then keep it away from Carter, and he does both. Lob down to the line. Carlson tried to jump in and steal it. Back the other way. Here comes Williams. Williams to the line. Tries to take it to the net. Pajot angles him off. Anderson gloves it down and holds on. Still a one-goal lead for the Kings in the back half of the third. Sounders brought to you by Mark's Work Warehouse. Ready for this? Well, you, you don't have to ask Chris Neal. He seems to be ready every night. But sometimes things happen you just can't be ready for. This is one of them. The question always will be, how long is he going to take it to come back? He comes back quickly, gets back to his rhythm, and leading these younger Senators by example. Chris Neal, our hardest working Senator this season. Round off the draw, gets a shot through traffic, knocked down by Anderson, here's Rearcosh. Wheels it up from behind his own net. To feel the pressure coming from Brown. Brown is knocked down by Pajot in the neutral zone, slow in getting up, it's in front of the Ottawa bank. Callan, round the boards, here's Brown on the other side. Rearcosh ties him up. Williams back against the flow. Down low, here's Kopitar, back of the net. Kopitar tries to deal it off. And here's Ryan. Players whistle down as the puck was knocked down with a high stick, and a faceoff will come back down again inside the Ottawa end. Now, Bobby Ryan, and we talked about all of the the attention he gets when he comes out on the West Coast. He had talked about how he likes the East. He thought that in the Eastern Conference, it appeared to him, uh, at least through training camp, there's a little more room to maneuver in the Eastern Conference. So it's going to be an adjustment for Bobby Ryan for a while, but scoring goals is always going to be the comfort level for him. The scramble draw this time. Back of the net, Carlson spins the other way from his check, skates away from the second check, floats the puck in. Curve sends it in front. No one can get a stick on it. Here's Mathot. Slaps it back the other way. Conacher to the corner. Turris back in front again looking for a MacArthur tip. Mathot keeps it in. Conacher in behind the net. Turris ridden off the puck by Regeer. Back along the boards. Carlson quickly across. Mathot fires it in. Quick makes the save. And Drew Dowdy basically tackles Conacher as Conacher went hard to the net. Made contact with Quick. And Dowdy, Quick, and virtually everyone in the Kings jersey is not happy with Corey Conacher. Well, they're going to have to get used to it, and if they want to do something about it, Dowdy sort of tried that, and uh, it's not going to be any kind of intimidation. He has, uh, we said earlier in the telecast, there's no question that for Conacher, his job is pretty simple, but in the simpleness of the job, it's one of the hardest ones demanding uh, Demanded by the coaching staff that you go directly to the front of the net and he without a doubt would be taking on bigger men each and every time. Smith in the face top circle. Slap back to the corner. Here's Neal. Gonna find a spot as he is piled into the boards by Green. Gets back up again. And now Phillips. Gives it away. Gloved down, though, by Anderson as Richards tried to go in and pick up that puck. But Anderson gloves it. All the latest news about goaltending and goalies can be found in our net worth feature. And all you goaltending enthusiasts can find that on sportsnet.ca. you got to be so careful at this stage of the game under 10 minutes. A giveaway is not what you want to have occurred in your own zone. Can't be too sure. And that one there was an attempt by veteran Chris Phillips to try and get the puck over possibly two hockey sticks. The cast is set for the faceoff. Carter will take this draw for the Kings. Wins it clean back to the point. There's a shot through traffic, knocked down to Costa. There to knock it down in good defensive position. And then Carcillo takes a run at him. 
Here's Carter now. Headman's the puck for Richards off the boards back to center. Phillips. And Carcillo takes a run of him. Here's Carter moving the end. Carter cuts in, but Anderson makes the save. Carcillo's now running around flying at everybody. We're going to get a penalty call here as Carcillo is slashed repeatedly by Colin Greening. And this is the problem. Carcillo runs at four or five guys. And now Carcillo is at the Ottawa bench. Chris Neal is squirting water at him as Carcillo looks like he intends to try and fight Stefan DaCosta. Well, I will tell you that the Ottawa bench is going to have an argument basically saying that, look, you know, referee, you've got to watch at how late some of these hits were by Carcillo on this very shift. Well, they've, they've now found something that they're going to give Carcillo a penalty for. And if you didn't call yeah. him for any of the 20 right. foot runs at people, what are you calling him for now? But anyway. Well, I'm not sure when you look at the hit, that last one seemed to be the cleanest of the hits. Uh, now you got Chris Neal going to the penalty box. So something was going on that the referees felt they needed to take care of. And now the Ottawa Senators have lost what we thought may have been an equalizer in terms of uh, Garcilla going to the bench. So a deft move by Dave Jackson and Francois Saint Laurent as they have somehow found a way to get Carcillo into the penalty box but still give the Kings a power play so this has worked out. It could be that dreaded uh, water bottle thing you know that is very dangerous and the deal may have been <laughs> singled out. Oh, yeah. 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 water on the ice that is dangerous. So Neil's off the box two for liquid squirtage. <laughs> Carcillo was off or I'm not sure what the being squirted I don't know <laughs> end of the day at the end of the day what was originally going to be a Kings power play is still just that so Phillips well, runs it along the boards but not out here's Dowdy Williams loses the puck and cleared back down ice by Mafat so they're calling Carcillo for unsportsmanlike conduct. <laughs> Neil gets two for unsportsmanlike for squirting the water out. I guess Carcillo got two for. I don't know. Wasting water? I, uh, I'm not. Anyway. Out to center. Here's Torres. Short handed, makes his way inside the line, gets a shot away, the floats over top of the net. Torres had no idea that Phillips was all alone in behind him. Slowly to center, here's Dowdy. Here Dowdy to the line, straddles the line, fires it hard around the boards on the other side. Mitchell comes down the wall hard to hold the puck in. Here's Weirkosh now. Weirkosh, penalty call is on the way, and it's going to go against the Kings. So we're going to get a holding call. Weirkosh went for the puck and reaching in. The penalty is going to go to Matt Fratton, yeah. I believe, for reaching in and grabbing the arm of Weirkosh. Well, there's a holding call made uh, by referee Francois Saint Laurent. What an opportunity for the Ottawa Senators who have not had the advantage in power plays in any of the games that they played in. And there you see the right arm. I guess that's what. Saint Laurent saw was the right arm of Fratton going into the left arm of the defenseman Weirkosh, and that's why the holding call is made. Four on four now for the next 55 seconds. Then Greening will come out of the box. Now the wall will have a one minute and five second power play unless something else happens between now and then. Out to center. Here's Voynov. Gives the puck away. Carlson turns at his own line. Looks from face. Flops the puck ahead. It's tipped down to the Kings line, but Mitchell quickly sends it ahead. And now back out to center. Trevor Lewis stripped of the puck in the neutral zone. Here's Carlson. Carlson to the line. Finds the late man. Mafat. His shot. The flex. Carlson. They drop it back as Carlson is decked by Mitchell. Long shot goes off the shoulder. A quick Carlson stays out on the ice. That starts way before game time. 
Here's Carlson. Wines fires right on and quick takes it in the crest and holds on for the whistle. Getting hit and falling down and being picked on, as one would say. Well, that starts way before game time, as when the preparation is by the Los Angeles Kings. Every time you get a chance on Carlson, you've got to finish your check. Five seconds to go, and then Greening will come out for a 65-second Ottawa power play. Harris in the face off against Kopitar. Again, everyone ties up off the drop. Weirkosh has the puck greening out of the box. Kopitar tries to control the puck in the corner. Greening comes in to try and help dig it out. It ends up on the stick of Williams and shorthanded. The Kings break it out three on two. Williams to Kopitar. Kopitar to Dowdy. Dowdy trying to cut in. Sends it in front. They just missed. Williams is right there and couldn't get a stick on it. The line and in. MacArthur to the corner. As Tourist got bound up with Dowdy. And now Williams has cleared the puck back down ice. 30 seconds to go in the Ottawa power play. Weirkosh, lead pass. Tried to hit Conacher on the long bomb play. Conacher drops it back to Costa to the point. Here's Weirkosh. His shot to the corner, high and wide as that one goes off the glass. It's Carlson didn't find the net. Carlson through the middle. McCarthy on the wing. Here's Conacher. Sends a shot and goes out. Backhander. Oh, what a save by Quick. He stole one from DeCosta. Incredible save by Quick. It will make everyone forget any poor goalie they have let in. Ryan. Turn, spin, sends it in front. The soft touch by Conacher doesn't go. We're back to even strength now as the Kings send it all the way down ice. Technically, just two shots on goal for Ottawa during that power play, but they had great chances, and Cook had to be outstanding on the DeCosta chance. Well, the only thing is that the shot didn't come as hard as it could have had DeCosta been on the forehand. DeCosta got the puck on the backhand. Did direct it towards the net from our angle. It appeared that it was going in and quick. The scramble is no doubt about it. That backhand may not have had the velocity of a forehand, but it certainly was headed for the open net had it not been the quick save. Off the face off. Corvo back at the point. Makes one move to avoid King backhander through traffic. It's knocked down. Puck loose in the high slot. McCulloch scores! McCulloch rips it through a crowd, and the Senators have tied it to three. You talk about turning things around, turning a negative into a positive. The Ottawa Senators, after two periods, only had 31% efficiency in the faceoff circle. DeCosta comes in, wins the faceoff, helped by Bobby Ryan. And it's now McCulloch who picks up the puck from the crowd and drives it up top. Combination of Bobby Ryan and DeCosta gets the face off back and the eventual shot through the screen. Again, no chance for quick. And it's interesting. I'll tell you what, I don't know if I had a premonition. I'll tell you in a minute. At the end of the warm-up, there were only two senators left on the ice, and they stayed on the ice for quite a while. One was Bobby Ryan, the other one was Milan McCullough. And I thought to myself, isn't that odd? The two guys that played in the Western Conference hanging out in this building a little longer in warm-up. Turns out both of them have scored tonight. McCulloch with the goal, Corvo and Ryan with the assist on the game-tying goal as the Sounders didn't appreciate the snow shower their goaltender just received. So they will break it up and we will break away. Tied at three, late in period three as Milan McCulloch gets them back to even. Game review is brought to you by the Ottawa Citizen presenting sponsor of the Sounders 2013-14 season. You look at that game review, not a very good first period for the Senators. A couple of power play goals. They were down two men twice. 
But then start, things started in the second. Senators won the period, virtue of the Paget goal. And here the third period, down 3-2, a win face off. A very good move here by Corbo again, who will get the assist on that stop shot by Elon McCulloch to tie it up. Elon McCulloch once a Western Conference player with the San Jose Sharks. Bobby Ryan, once a Western Conference player with the Anaheim Ducks. Both have scored here for the Eastern Ottawa Senators. Okay, well, I should ask then, where was Mark McClough? Coming in back, Hunter goes wide. Because Mafat was a Western Conference with Columbus. Maybe he was hanging around out there too. He, he gets to the six. <laughs> As being one of the five guys on the ice. Oh, there you As go. Mark the thought, boy, does he ever get in the stick? I mean, he not only has to gain and garner his game and watch how he plays like everybody else on the ice, but he has to have an eye on Carlson because Carlson is a little unpredictable. He may go up the ice, and Mathot has been a solid backer and an ally of Carlson. And a real leader, I mean, although he hasn't been here that long with the Ottawa Senators, he really has become a part of that leadership group. So the 3-0 Kings lead has evaporated, and now DaCosta moves in and just misses on his shot as his stick got hooked up at the time when he was trying to release. Here's Bobby Ryan along the board. The goal and an assist tonight for Ryan in helping Spark to come back. Puck trickles back down inside the Kings zone with 2.40 remaining in regulation time. Martinez through the middle. Down the line. Ball with a shot. Knocked down. Puck is clear back to the line. Out of. There's a drifting shot. Anderson basket catches and holds on to as Matt Green just snapped it back to the net. And again, conversations after the whistle. Uh, it's a combination that's played better and better as the game got on. You saw 77 Corvo who's had a very strong game, and on both those last goals, really making good, solid decisions on the Paget goal, and then again on the blue line, making a good, solid decision offensively to create the opportunity for Milan Nicola. Well, Zach Smith doing some home repairs on his helmet. And maybe Corvo, you know, things work out that way. He was a draft pick in 1997 of the LA Kings. He was Drafted by them and has been around a little bit now making his second tour in Ottawa and certainly having his best game of this young season this evening. Green in from the point takes a hack from Pajot. Nolan along the boards with Fred Smith. Pajot trying to get it out. Puck trickles back to the point. Kings hold it in. Floats in behind the net. Phillips trying to protect it. Out the back door it comes, but Condra in front of the net playing defense. Clears it to the boards, but not out. Now Condra gets a chance to carry it. Slides it through down to the Kings line. Here's King now. Gets to center, flips it along the boards. Trying to get that full change that L.A. wants. With a minute 50 to go in regulation time. A minute 50 left. There's a good possibility Eric Carlson might not come off the ice. Here's McFaul. Right around the boards. McCarthy ties up his man. Penalty call is on the way against McCarthy. Both referees had their arms up. They couldn't wait to make that call. So 92 seconds to go in regulation time, and the Kings go back to the man advantage. There it is along the boards. You might wonder why they thought shot the puck so hard around the boards, but he's looking just for a deflection, whereas I think Clark MacArthur was looking to control the puck. And once the pitch came in, he got caught and tangled with the LA King and threw the penalty. Hard to try and decipher all of it, other than the fact that tough call against the Ottawa Senators. Now it's just 
ice the puck, try and burn off the last 90 seconds of regulation time. Phillips hammers it hard around the boards and all the way back down ice. The power play goal is already for the Los Angeles Kings in this game. Two for five with five shots. To the line and in. Mathar swings at it with one hand back to the line. Smith couldn't get it up. Kings get a chance to set it up. Here's Kern. Back to the point. Puck is deflected. But controlled by Martino. Back to the net. Phillips pins his man. Last minute to play the third period. play in regulation time. Kopitar. Gets it back. Gives it back. Kopitar. To the corner. Here's Richards now. Kopitar. Back down the corner. Richards again. Phillips gets on him. Gets it back to the point. Dowdy. One of the one time. took him in the skate. Martinez with a shot. Blocked by Condra. Another chance. Richards with a shot. That's knocked down. Puck is loose. There's Dowdy tried to get to it. Steered away by Phillips. What a great diving play by Phillips. Here's Carter now. Back down low to the corner. Richards off the wall. Tries to go to the front of the net. Clear back down ice by Condra. That's some penalty killing there. I tell you what, a great block by Condra. Terrific play by Phillips. Hard nose by Mathot. Dowdy gets to the line, can't get any further as he is stopped up as he came inside the zone by McCullough. That will do it for regulation time, and the Senators will open up the extra period shorthanded, but only for 28 seconds or thereabouts. And they have Denny come back and clawed their way back in to earn a point in a game where you thought after the first period they were done. Down 3 nothing after one. They have come back to tie this game at three and gotten at least a point. Yesterday in practice, there was comments by the media saying Red Cap is not happy out there. Red Cap was Paul McLean. Made the team do over various drills that they weren't doing right. I have a feeling that Red Cap wasn't happy after the first period. In tonight's hockey game, the Senators came out a much better hockey team starting with the second period. Paul McLean wearing the red cap and the black sweatsuit was not happy many times yesterday as he wanted a better execution all around. And finally, the Ottawa Senators seemed to have it in the second period. They brought the game to the Los Angeles Kings, a team that was more physical, more aggressive in the early goings of this hockey game and then Daryl Sutter's team seemed to sort of go back on their heels somewhat in the second period allow the Paget goal which got a little confidence and on the bench of the Ottawa Senators and then of course third period when you've got Bobby Ryan connecting for his first goal of the year and a line made Milan McCulloch to tie it up. So the Kings will open up the extra frame for the four on three power play since Ottawa entered the league, they have only played three extra time games against the LA Kings. Only one of those games has occurred here in Los Angeles. That was the last time these two teams went to overtime, which is March 4th, 2002. Ottawa did not win that game. They also did not lose that game. Back in the days when you could tie games, and it was a 1-1 tie. Here's Mabot. Stops the puck ahead, but not out. Gets it again, slaps it back up and back down to the Kings line. Here's Drew Doughty now. Doughty. The Ottawa zone and in. Doughty tries to go back through the box, but it hits the stick. Here's Kopitar. Back to the point. Richards with Carter in front. His shot. The bucket scores! Kyle Prego wins it for the Kings. The Ottawa Senators were flagged with two power play goals against the Toronto that turned the game around in the favor of the home team, the Leafs. The same thing will be said about this hockey game. Power play goals absolutely handcuffed the Ottawa Senators, and it didn't take long here in the overtime as the top scorer of the Los Angeles Kings, Carter, is in front of the net, his good friend. Richards is only shooting the puck at Carter. Look at that deflection. Not much the Senators can do. Remember, it was a four-on-three power play. A five-on-four power play is much easier to defend than a four-on-three. Valiant effort to come back to the point on the road by the Ottawa Senators. The assist, number 10, Mike 
Let's have a look now at our Molson Three Stars brought to you by Molson Canadian. Diehard fan and proud partner of the Ottawa Senators. Milan McCollin for the Ottawa Senators tied it up, send it to overtime. Joe Corvo, a couple of assists on the hockey game, and Dustin Brown, two goals in the first period to get things started for his team. The leader does it again, and uh, Jeff Carter wins it on an overtime power play deflection. Final score, a 4-3 overtime victory for the LA Kings Sounders come back and get a point after being down 3-0 in this game. And they will head off. In many ways, I think getting that point is pretty satisfactory for the Senators. They just let themselves get far too, uh, far too far behind a 3-0 lead at one time by the Los Angeles Kings. So the effort will be saluted but the slow start will be criticized for sure. Hairstyles provided by Ronaldo Hair Designs. The Senators are in San Jose Saturday night, and our next broadcast comes up Sunday from Anaheim. 7.30 Eastern, the pregame show, face-off just after 8 Eastern. The final score again here from L.A., a 4-3 Kings victory in overtime. Coming up now to get you connected, in our Sportsnet studios, here is Don Taylor.